Hello and welcome to The Woodery. My name is Trey. Today I'd like to show you the Nova. Dry herb vaporizing device that uses butane to achieve convection heat to utilize the most from your herb. Here's how we do that. We're going to use a butane torch. This being one of my favorites. I'll go over a couple other my favorites later. You're going to want some filtered butane. When you load it, at least cover the screen up to there. It's your call. You'll figure out as you go. Don't tamp it. Just make it level. With convection heat, you want as much surface area as possible to utilize as much of the plant as possible and not have hot spots or complete untouched areas. With it all back together, take the butane torch. When you click it, you want to keep the flame somewhere around here, but keep the flame moving. Don't hold it still, and you don't have to cram it in the... That's not going to help you. Any flame is already too hot for vaporization, whether it's single flame or a quad flame. You want to control the heat. Out here is plenty hot enough, but when you keep it moving, the hottest point of this flame collection is over the center of the tube for just a split second. As you wave the flame back and forth, the hottest part of the flames won't be going down the heat tube, but for a split moment. Back and forth, you're causing a wave of cooler and hotter temperatures in the vaporization zone, but keeping them below 425, which is combustion. You don't want that. As you're drawing air and you're supplying heat, the intensity that you draw dictates how much heat goes through the chamber and at what speed, obviously. If you draw too fast, your lighter can't keep up. The air path begins with your butane torch. You aim it down the intake. It follows the intake tube down goes through the thermal diffuser, which separates it into 19 evenly spaced holes and helps spread the heat column out to completely cover your chamber. As it continues there, it just goes down, across, and back up where it is collected into the mouthpiece and then you inhale it. So here's the Nova in its travel state. First thing I want to point out, the bottom does not open. It's locked, help keep your herb contained inside, doesn't make a mess in your pocket or in your purse. First thing you do, take the cap off. You'll notice the glass neatly contained under the cap and the toker contained under the heat tube. Rotate your mouthpiece around to about a 180. If you're right-handed, that's about a good angle. If you're left-handed, maybe over here somewhere. In this position, the toker is the lock. When it's over here, it allows for full swivel to open and to toke and stir during your session. Put it back over here. Now the unit does operate completely fine with it in this position. You just can't open it to check. You take it out, open it, do your thing, put it back. Not necessary if you leave it over here. It does stay together. It doesn't fall unless you move it. If you're not familiar with this style of vaporizer, this piece of glass becomes very hot during use. When you take it apart to empty your bowl, if you set this down because of the swivel magnet, it will want to teeter. And if this falls over, lands on your wife's table, you will get in trouble. Rather than risk punishment, take your toker, lay across your two top magnets and it becomes a kickstand to keep the hot part off the table. Here are a few of the butane torches that I have in my arsenal. Uh, my favorite is just a big quad flame. They're gonna go by different names on Amazon or eBay. This one's called Usud. Works great. This is a smaller quad flame. It works great. It does seem to go through the, f the fuel a little faster than this one, but it's it works great. This is a smaller little triple flame. Works just fine. 
Uh, this one's called a Vertigo. I don't know what that one's called. It's not listed on it. I'll have a link in the description for my list on Amazon if you need a help picking out a torch. So here's what a typical session looks like for me. I have my basic Nova. Got a roadie with my Klondike 93. Awesome daytime hybrid. Cheap scoop. And my favorite torch. So I load mine about to there so it's not above the top. I said there's about my typical load. My favorite torch. Get these out of the way. So like I said, we're just gonna put the fire about here, keep the fire moving. Once you get your draw down, once you have vapor going through your mouthpiece, don't change your draw speed, don't change your flame technique. You found the sweet spot. Keep those two variables the same. You can empty this chamber lung after lung after lung, and you don't have to worry about getting it too hot or uh, getting hot spots. Let's give it a try. That's what you should be left with. Nice, even roast. If you draw too fast, you're going to collapse your hot column of air and go through a weak spot in your flower. If you go too slow, you're going to get a hot spot somewhere and not have a good time. Get your draw speed just right. It allows your hot column of air to expand, roast your entire herb chamber, and collect back again. No stir. Ready for another round. Something like that. I keep going. Now, if you need to stir it, if you're like, man, it's a little hot over there, you can see it just kind of jiggle around a little bit. If you didn't tamp it, it's not going to be stuck together. It's still loose flour. And as it dries, as your session progresses, the flour stays loose, doesn't get stuck in the screen, and you don't have a clogged screen layer. Close it back up again, and you're ready for another hit. Continue until done and try not to make a mess. Check the links in the description for my website and for my Instagram account. Thank you for watching. See you next time.